My name is Justin Levese. I'm the director of the cath labs at North Shore University Health Systems, and we're here today to talk about the Mamba catheter. Um, which has become my go-to support catheter for CTOs and uh, complicated percutaneous coronary interventions. Uh, so there are three catheters in the Mamba family. Uh, the first one is the Mamba, which is used in anti-grade cases uh, where you need a lot of support. Uh, the other two catheters are the Mamba Flex, of which there is a short Mamba Flex and a long Mamba Flex, which is used more for retrograde cases. The Mamba design uh, makes it unique in certain ways. The inner uh, files of the Mamba catheter are a single piece with no welds at all, which means that you virtually get a one-to-one -one torque uh, profile with this catheter, which is very nice in terms of feel and advancement of the catheter. Um, in terms of the actual day-to-day -day use of this catheter, we're gonna go through a little bit of an example of how it's used. And there are basically two techniques that I use uh, in terms of, of torquing this catheter and, and, and moving it uh, forward. So the first technique uh, is kind of what you would expect in your in your typical uh, support catheter role where you're going to have your support catheter through your guide with a wire. Obviously, uh, I like to kind of grab the wire with my pinky finger to stabilize it. And then I'm going to do the uh, usual kind of relatively fast torque with uh, slow advancements with my left hand with pinching it, uh, which is what people are usually accustomed to. Uh, with using a support catheter, particularly through CTOs and, and retrograde and even antegrade as well. Um, this is not the only way that this catheter is used though. Um, there's a, another method that's very effective. And, and I guess I should go and say that the kind of the package labeling of this catheter is, is that you turn it clockwise and you get about 10 clockwise turns in one direction, uh, at which point you can stop and relieve uh, kind of the torque on the, on the catheter. Um, and I would say that in general and day-to-day -day use, I don't necessarily do this. I tend to torque it uh, in a clockwise direction more than 10 times at a time, uh, unless I stall. And as long as I'm making slow, steady progress, I continue to clock it without you know, overly torquing the catheter. But again, you have that one-to-one -one torque and you, can, you get great feedback, tactile feedback on the catheter. Um, the other way in which I like to torque this catheter, which is very effective as well, is what's kind of known as a, anyone who's used a cross boss, you know, in the cross boss, you're just spinning and you're spinning like crazy to get the catheter to advance. We like to call this the slow boss technique, which is where you're rotating the catheter. Uh, however, you're doing it relatively slowly as compared to say a cross boss. And that the catheter will actually, with those non-welded uh, filers in the middle of the catheter, will just advance on its own. Uh, it's a very effective way of, of moving the catheter forward, um, and it's just a slow rotation. You're not necessarily even pinching your fingers here or advancing with your left hand if, if you're right-handed. It's just a nice slow torque, and the catheter will, will screw its way down the, the artery and advance on its own. Um, so I think both of these are effective. Um, I will say that I do counter this catheter uh, at times if I'm stalled. So if I'm moving forward and and clocking it, clocking it, and I reach a point where I stop seeing progression of the catheter, uh, I will counter clock uh, usually five, six, seven times, see where it goes, and then start clocking again. And oftentimes that'll get you through a stall. Um, I would say overall with this catheter, I have been very happy with it. It's become my go-to catheter in all of my coronary cases. I find that I stall less. I find that there are less complications associated with it. Uh, it's a great catheter, it advances well, it advances over wires well, um, and I uh, definitely have, have moved almost exclusively to using this catheter uh, just on the basis of the way it behaves.